What's good, everybody? It's Con Man here, coming back at you with another MLB The Show episode. I don't know, four or something like that, because we messed up all of our videos, and I'm going to have to do some editing on that. So hopefully you guys are seeing this soon. As you see, we got 200,000 subs, and we are one win away from this Mookie Betts card. He looks absolutely phenomenal, y'all. I cannot wait to use him. Um, I think he's still going for a good amount of subs. 40K stubs. Attributes look solid. Can't wait to use that card. I'm just kind of holding all the cards that I get right now, but we can go into that with a little more detail in just a little bit. I want to try to get this last dub here. Hopefully we can get it. I just had an incredible sweat in my last game. Being this guy, we were doing great at pitching. We, you know, couldn't figure each other out until we both literally figured each other out in like the fourth inning. And man, oh man, he hit a grand salami. I hit like a three-run tater in the bottom of the fourth, and then I got a just late, just late double play by J Ram. It was like a perfect PCI, and then he struck me out with a fastball down the middle. It was, I don't know if you guys will see that gameplay or not, but we got we try to put that stuff behind us. You know, you gotta you gotta keep thinking forward. Can't always be looking. This guy's got Christian Yelich. Parallel four, Sammy Sosa. Has this guy seen, son? I mean, Sammy Sosa, I get it. Whatever, you play for the game. But to have Christian Yelich as well as another card, parallel four? Dude's been grinding. An absolute grind fest right there. Don't you worry. To be the best, you've got to beat the best. And we have definitely beaten a lot of good players to get to the wins already. Obviously, it ain't always pretty. But it's real. You know what I mean? Hey! Hang a slider right there. one That's a ball. That one. Really wanted that one. one. Go, pop up. Get a court. What I do too is I platoon a lot of players in. Because they're so short. Can't be. There's so many good bats. So, if you're going righty versus righty in the outfield, I feel like you're just. Inside. Like there's one. so many platoon options in there. Hard looks. His stance alone. This looks built. Here I'm slamming Sammy. Condo? Condo! Take it out. Let's go. Way to dig that up, oh. Manny. Alright, so we let up one in the world. Gotta fight back. All one's the count. Hopefully it is done. That's a rip down the first baseline. Should be extra bags. 75 speed in there easily. I think that's going in. That was a wild throw by Sammy Sosa. about like the Sammy Sosa cards and stuff, especially in events or even online play. Yeah, they're awesome. But how awesome is Robbie Grossman? You know? Obviously, he won't beat ever, but I wish I wasn't very He's early out. on that. But you know, beggars can't be too as you move the runner over to third. So here's who I was talking about Austin Hayes, super charge. 99 overall. He's playing the infield in. So up down in the strike zone. He wants that That's ground right ball. Up. I'm probably not gonna get it. Could work! I was about to say sending that one to the moon, but ball two. I don't know how that was a ball. Get through. That a boy! 
That's a good rip right there to tie up the ball game. Give that an E5? I don't know about that one. Oh. Hi. Mister. Alright, one of those balls has to be the one. Oh my god, Robbie Grossman, you're so good. Please don't ever not be supercharged. Six home runs. Oh. Please don't ever not be supercharged. Is he gonna quit? Get this man the hell out of here. Let's go. Love that. So that's gonna do it. We've got 25 wins now. We've got the Mookie bets. Fantastic stuff. We'll kind of go through where we're at with everything. God, that feels so good. To end it on a perfect, perfect like that. Shout out Robbie Grossman. He was the MVP of that series. As you saw, six home runs. Dude is an absolute legend. So we've got the team affinities. You know, 39, 40%-ish. I haven't done the Conquest map because I really wanted to get that Mookie. Uh, really look forward to using him. But we do have some packs. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I want to stop there for now. Like I said, we did get the Mookie bets. Let's go. Let's go show off Mr. Mookie bets here. That Robbie Grossman card is unbelievable. I love what they did with Superchargers. I think that's the coolest thing in the world. I really, really do. So where is Devon? No. Who's Mookie Betts play for? The Dodgers. He plays for the Dodgers. So let's go check him out real quick before we end the video. Find the Dodgers here. There's Mookie Betts going for 40,000. Welcome to the squad. Can't wait to use an online play. I'm going to go ahead and add this other stuff to the video. So you'll be talking to Editor Steve here in just a minute. Thanks, guys. Hey, Conman here. So I was going through making a no money spent episode and I totally forgot that my microphone was off. So as you see, we are finishing up, what would this be? The central map or east map actually? This is the east map here. So we're going through here. I was going to get the gameplay. I was talking all the stuff throughout the game, but long story short, we hop on through, you know, basic at bat there, you know, get a ball. Get Pete Alonzo up. He sucks again. Nothing new there. Basically, we'll we'll sim it through the game. Obviously, we're probably going to win the game. Or wouldn't have been recorded. I probably would have deleted it. But look at Polar Bear Pete there making a wonderful play. Just an absolute wonderful play. Yeah, just getting through this as we sim up to a nuke right there by my boy Randy. That card's decent. Um, I've had pretty fun with him so far from World Baseball Classic. But what I wanted to get into was all these packs that I opened. I wanted to show you guys all these packs because, you know, some of y'all probably out there have your, you know, speculations that I'm a cheater and I've been spending money and that's totally understandable. But this year I just don't think that there's any reason to be spending money on this game at all whatsoever. It's one of the easiest Easiest grinds for no money spent as we start with the gold there, AJ Minter. Nothing crazy. Uh, but I did want to show you guys all the packs that we get. Kind of go through it here. So we get a diamond off our second pack, which is actually fantastic. Um, was not expecting that. It's a purple one, though, so not the best in the world. But, hey, we take all the diamonds after 399 pulls this year. If you haven't seen that one, you need to go ahead and check that one out. So we get Kyle Tucker there on the pool, so... Not a bad one there. He actually mashes righties if he's playing up. So I've been kind of platooning him in events, stuff like that. But kind of going through here, like I said, just ripping all these packs as fast as possible. Um, sometimes we get lucky. Sometimes we don't. But we've been pretty lucky this year. I'm not even going to lie. We're about to be able to afford some really good pieces to the squad. Really good on collections. I have gone in and completed the Guardians collection as well as the Padres collection already. Um, I haven't decided what I want to do with regards to all of the collections yet. I don't know if I'm going to go for that or if I'm going to do something completely different. 
I have not decided yet, but continue to open up these packs here. Not getting much. A couple diamond equipment. Um, Jeff McNeil's a good pull. He's been playing pretty good this year. He might go diamond. Something to look out for. But I'm looking to make a move before, as I forget that my webcam was up there, before the roster update because I think Mike Trout might go up in price. So I might buy Mike Trout. I haven't decided yet. As we pull another Catal Marte, unfortunately, that is the, not the 99 one. So it is what it is. We got about 23 packs left. Haven't done, haven't gotten too much. Got a Kyle Tucker. That's about it. A couple golds here and there. So not too terribly bad. Pack luck on this episode. Josh Harrison. That Carter, it's awesome. He looks so happy. Happy for him. Kirby Yates, a little Atlanta Brave action. Went here to switch it up a little bit, the Charisma Pack to the AL Central. Um, I go ahead and take Javier Baez here. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with my pick. He's been playing okay for me. He plays a lot of positions, which is nice. Um, he's okay. Bobby Witt looked pretty good too, but he just, I don't know. Joe Ryan definitely not, and they did my boy Sticks wrong, man. Tristan McKenzie with only a four-pitch, basically a three-pitch mix, only throws 94. Uh, can't use that type of card, especially in online play, but as you see him going through Bobby Witt, thinking about Bobby Witt, but I just decided to go with Javier Baez because you can always use middle infield players. I feel like they've got a lot of worth for lack of better words, but I think we're going to be making some switches. I do still have Cattell Marte. Think about selling him potentially. Just haven't decided yet what exactly I want to do, but we need to make a decision soon before it's too late. The price of the market is kind of up a little bit as we get our second diamond of the video, which is always nice. Like I said, love to see those. Love to see those. So we shall see what we got here. It's a purple, and it is a Kyle Tucker. Absolute classic move by MLB The Show, giving me the same diamonds all the time. Like I said, I pulled three Cattell Martes and now two Kyle Tuckers. So, but we have pulled some other diamonds, so it's not like it's the only stuff that I've ever pulled. We get another diamond equipment, so that makes it three diamond equipments, and that is a bat that sold for about 8,000 stubs. So, very, very nice there. We will take that all day. More expensive than the Kyle Tucker pull, which is hilarious. We move on. Like I said, just keep grinding these packs out. Should have another one of these. Hopefully my editing isn't too terrible for you guys. Throwing this at the end of the Mookie Bats video. So if you've made it this far, make sure you drop a like on this video. Helps me know that you like this sort of stuff. Helps me know that you guys really enjoy the videos. Hoping to get more stuff out soon. Been working on some things. Uh, like I said, work 45, 50 hours a week on top of being married. On top of a bunch of other stuff. So this is not impossible for you guys to do. This is not impossible. You can do this too. Just grind it out. Just slow and steady. Uh, the events was probably the hardest thing to do. But I was really getting burned out from just playing the computer. So... We get another diamond, which makes it three diamonds in this video. It's another purple. So again, lots of purples this video. Nothing too crazy. Uh, but hey, we don't mind getting that. So we got Class A here, and that definitely helped us complete that Guardians one since we pulled J-Ram earlier. So Class A and J-Ram, and I'm a Cleveland fan, so just made everything a little bit nicer. Makes it a little easier to complete that set as I kind of roster bait to him real quick for a lack of better words. And so we got five more packs. Jesse Hernandez, the other day he was playing up and he had like a hundred power on each side. It was wild. Absolutely wild. Absolutely loved it. As we get, again, Andre Jimenez. So like we literally pooled almost all of the Guardians. So went ahead and did that set, but their guy's not that good, so. It is what it is. We're down to our last pack here. We pull one more gold, which is Felix Batista. He was going for a couple thousand, I want to say. Um, 
as I just rip through my team packs here, nothing too crazy. These are just the captain cards that you get. Everybody gets. Uh, I don't know why I even pulled this in the video. I apologize. But without further ado, that's probably going to do for us. We do have a couple charisma packs, which are really nice. Um, like I said, the first one, we got Javier Baez. This one, I'm pretty sure I picked Lee Smith because we need relievers. Even though he kind of has been getting jacked up a little bit in events, but... I think that's just because every pitcher is going to get jacked up with the amount of 99s. I kind of looked at Troy Goss' stats there. I was like, holy crap, that guy's pretty dang good. But we end up going with Lee Smith. You can always use more bullpen pitchers. Um, that's just the golds and the diamonds. So I think the last thing I do is open up the dynamic duo pack to end this video. Maybe we get lucky again and pull Cattell Marte for a fourth time this season. That would be absolutely unbelievable so pull this up in this diamond i do get a diamond equipment again so again four diamond equipment in this one we got that and we did get oscar gonzalez another guardian so that's gonna do it for this video uh, another one coming soon been grinding a little bit i've had a lot of stuff to do recently so thanks for y'all's patience again if you like it drop a like on it and we'll catch you on the next one peace out